In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Dear friends, today we celebrate the memory of St. Mary Magdalene, and as we begin this Mass, let us ask her to pray with us and for us, as in the name of Jesus we beg forgiveness. Lord Jesus, for our sake you lay down your life upon the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are risen and glorious Savior. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you have ascended to your Father in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if, once knew, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation, the old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O Lord, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory, for your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, 
one at the head and one of the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken my Lord and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop holding on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to his disciples, I have seen the Lord. And then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I know my sheep and they know me. I call them by name and they follow me. I thought of that as it was Jesus speaking Mary's name and calling her Mary that made her realize that it was the Christ, that, that he was risen, that he was present. That voice that she had heard so often in the past speaking her name filled her with joy that he was alive. But what does Jesus say next? He says, don't hold on to me. Stop holding on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. You know, um, we can hear the voice of Jesus, but we're never going to go back to what we were before coronavirus, I hope. Um, we're never going to go back to when we had lots of vocations. We're never going to go back to when Mass was in Latin and the priest faced the wall. Or We're just not. And if we concentrate on hearing only that voice, won't we miss the voice of what Jesus is calling us to be today? That was the greatness of Mary Magdalene. When Jesus said, stop holding on to me, she could run and announce to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, he is risen. So today, we pray for a new hearing of the voice of the Lord a new vision of him in our present time, risen and glorious, so that we also may announce to a world that is so tired now, so torn and weary, do not be afraid, he is risen and he lives. God love you. Let's come to the Lord now with our prayers. And we begin by praying for the whole church that God will give us a new vision with our Holy Father and our Bishop-designate with a new ears to hear the voice of Jesus today and to announce the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for those most affected by these terrible times, for those who are ill, their caregivers, their families, we pray for essential workers, for those keeping us going through this terrible time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for an end to this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. We remember those who have died. We pray today for James and Helen Lecken, remembered at this Holy Mass. May the departed members of our families, our parishes, also rise to glory. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. And for your needs, for your intentions, we pray to the Lord. Almighty God, please stay with us. Be among us always. Send us the gift of your Holy Spirit and grant all our needs through Jesus who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to thank you, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure thing, signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. So now with angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Peace, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with Adelbert, and all the saints 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And as best we can, we share the gift of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Here is the Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Today, again, I am not able to receive you sacramentally because we live in this time of pandemic. And yet, I trust that you will come to me spiritually and make my heart the tabernacle of your dwelling. Speak my name once again. Call me from darkness into light and the joy of your resurrection and keep me strong until I am able to receive you sacramentally again. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.